Good morning, everybody. The Rev here. Time for a cup of coffee with Jesus. Hey, Lord, place it on my heart to do 30 chapters of Proverbs, one chapter a day for 30 days. Uh, today is day 29 of that, and so we're doing chapter 29. That's some good coffee. I, I've i gone through and I picked out a couple of uh, what just scriptures that really stood out to me in each one of these chapters and today I've done the same thing 29 verse 9 it says when a wise man has a controversy with a foolish man the foolish man either rages or laughs and there is no rest I know you've experienced this when you're trying to reason with the fool which you cannot do because they're foolish and it's in a mindset and a heart set that they cannot understand and reason the truth of the Lord. But when you do that, that you either like, oh, whatever, whatever, or they just get mad and rage and, and storm off. And there's really no middle ground in there where you can reason with them and they can, they're like, where they would ask questions and they would say, um, uh, why do you think this way? And, and how did you come to this reasoning? And you could have a true discussion with them is when you see this is when they either they laugh or they rage and it's there's not a middle ground in there that would let you know that you're dealing with somebody that's that's operating in a foolish mindset and then I go down to the end of this chapter this is a little bit shorter chapter than some of the others but it says the fear of man brings a snare but he who trusts in the Lord will be exalted you hear that well, I'm gonna say that one more time the fear of Man brings a snare, but he who trusts in the Lord will be exalted. When your trust and your faith is in the Lord and the things that he says and in the word of God, yes, in the word of God, guess what? You don't have to be in fear of man. And if you're operating in a fear of man, it's like a snare. It's, it's a trap laid before you. Because if you're in fear of man, you will not operate in the mindset that the Lord is wanting you to operate in. And that's truth. The word of God says it, that fear of man is a snare before you. Yes. And it says, uh, many seek the ruler's favor, but justice for man comes from the Lord. And it is. A lot of times we want to have justice seek, uh, we seek justice from individuals and from uh, communities. And it says, that doesn't matter. It's because you're... <laughs> It says right here, many seek the, the, the ruler's favor, but justice for man comes from the Lord. Your justice always comes from the Lord, and it doesn't come from man, and it has nothing to do with man's uh, what my man thinks or approves of you. And that's where that kind of coincides with the snare, because when you're seeking man's justice, guess what? You're also in fear and place yourself under the judgment of what man would say to you, which is the snare. And the last one for today is an unjust man is an abominable, is abominable to the righteous. And he who is upright in the way is an abominable, is, is abominable to the wicked. It's just like, the abomination comes because we're not supposed to think and act just like the wicked do and how, how the world does. We have a different mindset. We come from a different place. We are of a kingdom, a kingdom that is not of this world. Guess what? It's of a heavenly realm. And we have a ruler who sits in, sits in heavenly places at the right hand of the Father. And we don't operate the same way. We are in this world and we have to understand the world system but we are not of this world. And the scripture here is saying, an unjust man is, an, is abominable to the righteous because they can't think justly because they don't have a kingdom mindset. And he who is upright in the way, in the way is an abominable to the wicked. Try to say that early in the morning. That's a rough one, people, I'm just telling you. And it's like your, your righteous, upright ways they irritate the wicked. It irritates them. They'll get you to try to drink. They'll get you to try to smoke. They'll get you to try to go gambling. They'll get you to try to do anything because they want you to get out of that place where you're at in heavenly places and come down to their level. Because if you're down at their level, guess what? They don't feel so bad about their life. 
plain and simple. It's a conflict of two worlds, always. Always a conflict of two worlds. I hope you guys have a great day today. Chapter 29, please go read it. I encourage you to go back and read all the pro. If this today's day one, guess what? Read Proverb 20, chapter 29, and then pick up tomorrow with 30, and it's, when it goes to 31, roll back around and go through all of them. It, we're talking like two, three minutes a day maximum. But the benefits that you'll have for your life are irrevocable. Love you guys, as always, and Jesus loves you. Absolutely nothing you can do about it. Hope you guys have a great day enjoying the Proverbs. See you tomorrow. Goodbye.